Uh, yeah, this is this is kind of what we do. We're uh, we're, we're art, art teachers. teachers. Oh, okay. So during the school year, you know, I work at the high school in Richmond Center. She works at the middle school. Yeah. And but during the summer, once the schools are closed. Um, we spend our weekends traveling around the Midwest mostly, um, and a few gigs on the, on the coast. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. You get to move, uh, meet a lot of really interesting people, really cool people. So. It's one of the things that we've always um, remembered from college was that they would say like, well, once you're out of college, you don't have this community aspect anymore. And this is where we really actually do find a really nice community of artists because you all come together and create. Well, we're doing an anamorphic drawing, a 3D uh, chalk drawing. Um, this town's known for its mining background, so um, we were inspired by that. So we're doing a 3D pick um, with some gems here. Uh, for color, yeah. uh, really, um, and then we have uh, a hole with uh, a mine in it, so with a lantern on top. So people at the end, once we're all done, uh, they'll be able to stand on the pick or make it look like they're holding the pick or holding the lantern. Or uh, is this some kind of like chalk paint? Uh, this is tempera because um, it's a, it's really good to lay down for a base. Um, but it's really good for if you want anybody to interact with it and be able to step on it. The, the tempera paint won't pick up on your feet, or if you sit on it, it won't like come up yeah. on your clothing. It'll last a little longer, but it'll still it'll still fade away just like chalk because it's a chalk base. So we try to make stuff that you know is pleasing to the crowd and they can interact with it if they if they want to.